Hey, what's up everybody? It's JP here with Summer Luff and Jeep, and I am back. Uh, I've been away for a few weeks. Uh, just uh, things have been crazy, and uh, I was actually uh, hospitalized uh, about almost two weeks ago um, with something uh, that looked like it might have been cancer, but pretty happy that it's not cancer, but still trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, but I'm doing much better. So. Today, I am doing a quick little video just because I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. And it's a comp comparison of um, two ARB products. All right. So it's the tire inflator. So about a year ago, I got this one, which has a uh, manual gauge, and it's been very good. And then ARB released a digital one uh, a little while ago, and I finally picked one up. I probably picked it up a month ago, and I was been meaning to do a test of it and uh, review, and just never got around to it. So I'm finally going to do that. So it should be pretty easy. Uh, but this is the digital one. The packaging is pretty sweet, and this thing is like beefy. It's huge. Look at that, it's huge. You hit the on button, it turns it on. Um, defaults to PSI, you hit the function, KPA. You can go to bars. And yeah, back to PSI. Pretty nice long hose, that's what she said. And uh, the truck looks pretty nice. So it's definitely a much more stout um, chuck to connect to the, uh, the stem for the inflation. As for the other one, you, know, you got your regular manual gauge, which has PSI and bar. And then this is your chuck to connect. And it's good. One thing that I've had problems with is that depending on the positioning of this, you get air leakage. Um, so that was one of kind of the, the bad things about the, this one. So I'm going to test out this one, see if this one does any better. But I've also got one other little thing. All right, so this other little thing I got off of Amazon is a closed lock on chuck. So let's open it up right here so I'm planning on putting this on uh, the digital inflator because I'm upgrading and basically it has two I don't know if you can see but it's got two locking closures one on each side when you pop this on these chucks you can see it has a single so it's biting from one side and basically squeezing from the one side. This, this squeezes from both sides. So uh, I'm going to see if this makes any bit of a difference. And you can see on the old ARB, it's also got the one, the one like uh, bite right there. And that squeezes. And this is a little, little flimsy. So, all right. So premise of this video is to compare the two. So what I'm going to do is see what my tire uh, pressures are reading on the TPMS sensors from the Jeep. I'm going to deflate just using these guys. So I'm going to deflate using the digital to, I'm going to go down to 16. So I'm going to see 16 on here. Does it match the TPMS on the, the Jeep? And then same here. Uh, I'm going to try and take it down to 16 with just this see if it matches on the TPMS. And then we're gonna do an inflation back up to 36. Or, yeah, 36 sounds about good. And we're gonna see how accurate it is from here compared to this one. So that's the premise of the video. So uh, I'm gonna do the front tire with the new digital and I'm gonna do the rear tire with the old one. Um, did I need to upgrade? No, but I figured the digital one looked pretty cool. So decided just to get it in a 
do the review. All right, let's go. Let's get this done. Uh, I guess I, I got to get back inside and I got to go to work tonight. All right. Ah. So looking at my TPMS sensor, focus, focus. All right, so the left front and the left rear are both at 32. Um, so I'm actually gonna go from 32 down to 16 on both tires, see how it reads, and then I'm gonna bring it up to 34. So not 36 like I said before. So, all right, so we're gonna do the digital one first on the front tire. And here we go. All right, here are the front tire. I promise I have not cheated. Ugh. All right, so turned it on. Gonna connect. And this is actually reading 33 and inside it's reading 32. So let's bring it down to 16. All right, so 16. Let's take a look inside for the TPMS. All right, so it's reading 16 on the TPMS sensor and I got 16 on the deflator. So, yeah. All right, we're gonna try the uh, back tire with the old uh, regular gauge. All right, we're here at the back tire. All right. See, there's that leak thing. See? See, so this chuck, after about a year, is totally like worn. All right, here we go. That should be 16. I'm right over the line. All right, let's go. Let's go check inside. And what does it say? I'm reading at 19. So my gauge says 16, and I'm reading at 19. All right, so. Just to recap real quick, uh, front tire deflated with the digital one, uh, went down to 16 and it matches the TPMS. The rear tire went down to 16 on the regular gauge and it's showing 19 on the TP TPMS. Um, all right, and as you saw, the little chuck on the old, my original ARB inflator is, um, pretty worn down so it's actually leaking a lot of air um, the digital one the uh, chuck connector is a lot better all right so we're gonna do I'm gonna do the inflation I'm gonna inflate the rear tire first with the old one see if I can get it up to 34 um, based off the gauge see what the TPMS is and then we'll do the front one all right here we go oh, I gotta do my hand thing Whoop. all right just gonna turn on the compressor
All right, I'm right over the line. That should be 34. Uh, let's go check the TPMS. All right, so I'm reading 36. So on the uh, old ARB tire inflator, on the gauge it shows 34, my TPMS shows 36. All right, so now I'm gonna do the uh, front tire. All right, I'm zeroed out. Alright, this one's now reading uh, 34. So let's see if uh, it shows 34 inside. And it's showing 33 on the inflation. So, thirty-three. Uh, all right. So that was a little quick comparison of the uh, two ARB tire inflators. Um, so the old one uh, was off on the deflation and off on the inflation. The digital one was spot on for the deflation and was off by one PSI on the inflation. Um, might have been also my fault because as soon as I hit 34, I stopped. So might be at like 33 and a half. But um, I definitely think for the money, the digital one is the way to go. I think it's just built better. It's uh, a lot more stout, especially the chuck for connecting to the uh, tire stem and the um, old ARB one that I have is definitely on its way out. I guess I could save it if I put this on the end of that old ARB one. This part was about $15 I think or $18 on Amazon. If you add that onto the cost of um, the old ARB tire inflator, you basically are at the cost I think of the digital one. So it's really up to you, um, but hopefully this little uh, test and review kind of helps you out and see where you might go. Um, yeah, so I'm going to start using the digital one from now on, and maybe in a year or so we'll see how it holds up. All right, that's it. So this is probably going to maybe the last video of 2018. Um, just a lot of stuff to get ready for Christmas and I actually have some quick updates about the channel and some of the Jeep stuff and the trailer stuff I did buy a uh, shelter logic tent again this one's a 20 by 12 by 13 it's a big barn one so it just got delivered yesterday I have to put it up somewhere and um, I'm gonna be able to move all stuff into under into that tent and then I'll be able to work through the winter when it's cold because I bought a space heater as well um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on probably for the next week or two just to get that all set up and get everything into the tent so that way I can start uh, getting back to hitting the trailer uh, other than that thanks for watching this video please hit the thumbs up um, please share this video hit the bell notification if you want um, any notifications on when I drop another video and really thanks for tuning in thanks for everybody supporting this channel for 2018 and uh, hoping 2019 is going to be even better and I have a lot of stuff sitting in the shed that I need to work on with the Jeep and the trailer <laughs> so a lot of a lot of videos are going to be dropping in 2019 all right so I wish you all a Merry Christmas Happy Holidays for those who celebrate Hanukkah 
I missed you by a, couple, a week and a half, but happy Hanukkah. And that's it. Here's the 2018. Have a great 2019, everybody. I'm out.